the fake nerve agent attack was a distraction for the armored car robbery, which was a distraction for the diamond heist. Crime is hard. <laughs> Franklin knew the bank, and Marty knew us. But how'd they know each other? Brothers-in-law. Well, ex-brothers-in-law. Franklin had been married to Marty's crazy sister, and when they ran into each other again, a plan formed. Franklin was the inside man. His job was to create a medical emergency in the bank, the kind that would trigger a hazmat response because Marty knew that we'd have to seal the perimeter to execute the Big Bird protocol. The money's fine. You're in danger! He gets the driver to leave the truck and empty all his pockets, and while the driver gets clean, Marty gets rich. Except, how's he gonna get all that money out of there? <laughs> Can't just walk it off the scene. He needed a mule. Or a team of mules. Us. Not a bad plan. I mean, it's crazy, but it could have worked. We bring the money back here, and all he has to do is wait for the right moment, sneak in, access the ladder truck, and retrieve the money. Except there wasn't any, because the police had already beaten him to the punch. But how'd the police know exactly where to find the money? Because there was one variable that Marty didn't count on. The double cross. See, Marty may have known everything there is to know about LAFD protocol, but Franklin knew about the bank. He knew what was in that vault. He could steal those diamonds with his eyes closed. See, Marty's plan was simple. But Franklin's was more time sensitive, so he told Marty the best day to rob the armored car would be his last day. He knew there'd be a party at the end of day, at the close of business. He'd start with Marty's plan, but then he'd improvise. Franklin made sure he collapsed inside the vault. He knew what our response would be. 911, what's your emergency? Then all he had to do was wait for the vault to automatically close and time suit for the night. Then he'd have hours alone inside that vault while we ran our rescue protocols. It was a meticulous plan, but there was an unexpected complication. Me. He was supposed to be in there alone, so me running in to save his sorry ass, a complication. He had to take me out, too. But now he's playing beat the clock. As soon as the cameras couldn't see, Franklin swiped six million in stones and waited to be saved. He had the stones. All he needed was a clean getaway. L.A. Department of Robbery and Homicide. Yes, I have information on an armored car robbery. He sends the police after us. So while the police are investigating us, he could flee the country.